The longest government shutdown in U.S. history, and Americans are feeling the pinch, including here in Pittsburgh. Some people who haven't been paid are struggling to feed their families. Brenda Waters is live to explain the impact it's now having on local food banks. Brenda. The sting of the government shutdown is being felt by furloughed workers across the country, including right here in this area. And that's where the Greater Pittsburgh Food Bank steps in. We know in our 11 county service area, there are approximately 20,000 federal employees who are either currently working without pay or are furloughed. The need is real. Earlier this week, the Greater Pittsburgh Food Bank held a special distribution at its Duquesne facility. Two dozen families left with boxes filled with food, and federal workers will get another chance to stock up as well. We'll have a special distribution here at our Duquesne facility tomorrow, Thursday, January 24th from 5.30 to 7. Again, that's for any federal employee who's feeling the impact of the shutdown, anyone who's receiving federal benefits who's starting to feel nervous about whether or not those benefits are going to last. Today, the Pirates Caravan stopped by the food bank, all part of the team's volunteer efforts leading up to Pirate Fest this Saturday. They sorted and boxed apples. I spoke with first baseman Josh Bell. That's definitely special. Uh, we, we had no idea coming in. Uh, who exactly we were packing for, but it brings us that much closer. We know the, uh, the families that are being affected. The food bank is hearing heartbreaking stories from those in need. And what we're really hearing from people is, you know, an overwhelming sense that this is not a place they ever thought that they would come for help. Uh, the food bank was a charity that they supported, uh, not a place that they thought they would need to come for help. The next food bank distribution will happen at the convention center in downtown Pittsburgh. That happens Wednesday, January 30th from 530 until 7. Downtown, Brenda Waters, KDKA News.